From sweet to super hot, we're harvesting peppers from different countries that we grew in our Canadian backyard garden. Fall is here and the temperature is starting to drop so it's a good time to start harvesting peppers. So let's start in a greenhouse. Here we mainly grew peppers in containers and the greenhouse enables us to extend our growing season by creating a controlled environment. Starting with the hottest pepper that I grew, Carolina Reaper Yellow is a vibrant and extremely spicy pepper variety with a citrus flavor. It is a variant of the famous Carolina Reaper which held the record for the world's hottest pepper with a Scoville unit of 2.2 million. This year it was dethroned by Pepper X which has a rating near 2.7 million. This is Armageddon and it's another extreme pepper that reaches 1.3 million Scoville heat units. So if you compare it to Pepper X, it's only half the heat rating. These kinds of peppers are best used for making hot sauce. Aji Ayuyo is an heirloom pepper variety that originated from Peru. This pepper starts off as light purple and eventually ripens to red. With its beautiful appearance and mild heat, it is a popular choice for adding flavor and color to dishes. Here's a pepper with pods that resembles a monkey's face, and it's actually called monkey face, which is a mildly hot pepper variety with a sweet and mango-like flavor. After harvesting earlier in the season, our sweet mocha swirl didn't produce much for the second round. Another pepper with a distinctive shape, Bishop's Crown, which resembles a bishop's crown. It is a medium heat pepper suitable for drying and grinding into paprika due to its distinct paprika-like flavor. I'm trimming down this plant because we are heading into winter season here, and it will not have enough time to produce another set. This pepper is closer to home for Shar. It's a rare variety from Guyana where her father grew up. Wiri Wiri is a price ingredient in Guyanese cuisine and can be used in various dishes to add spicy kick. Scotch bonnet is a variety of pepper that is known for its heat, and it's commonly used in Caribbean cuisine. I ended up growing two variants in this greenhouse, a chocolate and a red variety.
Another pepper with a literal name, Peter Pepper. It's not quite ready yet, so we'll leave this to ripen. Trinidad Perfume is a sweet seasoning pepper that resembles a habanero in appearance, but lacks an intense heat. It is known for its mildness and it's used mainly for flavoring dishes. Big Yellow Mama is the opposite of Trinidad Perfume. It is much spicier. It is also a high yielding super hot variety. T-Rex Yellow is the craziest looking pepper that I've ever grown, and it looks scary too. It's a super hot variety with a hint of citrus and it produces quite a lot. I did end up growing a bell pepper inside the greenhouse and this one is called King of the North. Despite its massive size, it wasn't as productive and I had difficulty germinating the seeds. If you're looking for a larger and hotter version of the traditional habanero pepper, Big Sun Habanero is a great variety that you should try. Orange Habanero is known for their intense heat, tropical flavor, and vibrant orange color. They are widely used in cooking to add spice and flavor. Now that we're done with the greenhouse, let's head over to our 8x3 raised garden bed for more harvest. Ajima pepper is a local variation of piri piri peppers found in Ghana. This variety has mild heat and a nice woodsy flavor. This one is an unknown variety. It was supposed to be on Chapublano, but I ended up with these, which is a lesson when you're ordering seeds, make sure to find a reliable supplier. Nonetheless, it turned out to be a positive mistake because this was a very productive pepper with medium heat and it will make a great addition to my chili powder mix. Thai green chilies are commonly used in Thai cuisine, particularly in dishes like green curry. They can add a vibrant kick to your dishes, but they are very hot, so use them sparingly. If you're wondering what type of pepper is used to make kimchi, well, it's actually this. It's called Korean chili which is great for drying and grinding into powder form.
Thai scorpion is an oversized version of Thai green chili, and for its size, it's a very productive plant. Paprika is usually made with a certain type of pepper, and this is one of them. It's called Luchauer Paprika, and I know I'm pronouncing it wrong, but it's a spicier variety if you're looking for extra heat. Chishito pepper is great for frying, which is simply salt and pepper. They usually lack heat, but you'll have one or two pods that will be surprisingly hot. Time to head over to our container-grown peppers starting with habanero Mayan red, which is longer and more slender than the typical habanero. It is also a pepper that is ideal to grow in cooler climate. Serrano pepper are commonly used in Mexican cuisine and are smaller but hotter than jalapeno. They are best eaten fresh. Tobago seasoning looks like a really hot pepper, but it's not. It has the same great flavor as a bonnet without the heat. Chocolate habanero is a more potent variant of the traditional habanero. It has a distinct earthy and somewhat smoky taste, and they're typically used to make Jamaican jerk sauce. Purple tiger produces small pods that starts off green and purple stripe, and eventually ripens to red. Golden nugget produces tiny golden miniature peppers that are spicy with fruity flavor. The leaves are variegated which can be grown as an ornamental plant. Reza Macedonian is a very old and unique heirloom pepper variety with distinctive corking lines all across the flesh. It has a smoky flavor which makes it great for grilling or can be turned into flakes. This area was a really bad spot for peppers because of high slug activity. They ate through young green pods and I'm lucky enough to have at least one poblano pepper to try. Slugs can be spotted hiding under the containers but they kept coming. Black jalapeno is a darker variant of the regular jalapeno. Though mine did not turn completely black likely due to the semi-shaded spot, it still produced well despite the shade. I highly suggest supporting the branch with steaks because the fruits are heavy. Candy cane pepper develops into red and white stripes to create that candy cane appearance. It makes for a sweet, delicious, and crispy snacks with their sweet and mild flavors. Eco Eco produces a variety of colors ranging from purple and yellow to tangerine and the sweetest stage red.
Hungarian yellow pepper is harvested before completely maturing while it's still yellow. They are slightly hotter than banana peppers. I found this very cool variety locally a long time ago and I've been growing it ever since. It's called Super Hot Chili and can be grown in tiny containers. It may be small but it has some serious heat. Purple Beauty has a mild sweet taste and it's crisp and juicy. I started rainforest pepper late in the season and the fruits are still green. I will move this into the greenhouse to allow it to ripen before winter. Murasaki purple is an ancient pepper in Japan. It is a sweet pepper that is often used in pickling. Jamaican yellow mushroom pepper has a unique shaped pods that look like tiny little mushrooms. It has the same heat as a scotch bonnet with citrus and fruity tones. This one is a common red bell pepper. I started this Turkish Gorbachi indoors in a hydroponic system and transitioned it to grow into soil. It's now the third time I'm harvesting this plant. We have more spot to harvest, time to head into the patio garden. Pinot Noir has been the most productive bell pepper that I grew this year. I have three plants growing in this container and I'm loving this variety for its color and sweet flavor when it fully ripens red. Puma is a stunning pepper that is not only visually appealing, but it's also spicy with very good flavor.
Over here we have more Turkish korbaçi because I really like the flavor. It's sweet and it can be used in many dishes. Ethiopian brown berber has a fruity and tangy flavor with smoky taste. They are commonly used in Ethiopian cuisine to make a spice blend called berber. Imo togarashi is a specialty pepper used in traditional Japanese cuisine. Although it resembles a spicy Thai chili, Imo togarashi is actually a sweet pepper with zero heat. More bell peppers, I had harvested the first set earlier but these won't ripen in time so I'm harvesting them green. In here I grew orange bell and mini yellow bell which is a dwarf variety. Out of all the bonnets, yellow scotch bonnet is my favorite. It produces beautiful pods with excellent tropical flavor and it's just the right heat for me. Purple Flash is more of an ornamental pepper. Though the peppers can be eaten, the flavor and heat is subpar. White habanero bullet is also one of my new favorite. It is insanely productive with the same heat and flavor as a traditional habanero. Buena Mulata will always have a spot in our garden. This beautiful purple cayenne type chili is a great producer and I usually dry it to make chili oil.
Giminardella pepper is a variety of sweet Italian frying pepper that is highly regarded for its flavor and versatility. Sili Labuyo takes me back home. It's the first pepper I ever ate when I was a child, which is probably why I ended up loving peppers. This particular variety is unique to the Philippines, and unlike bird's eye chili, this has a unique pungent smell. Lastly, a pepper that's out of this world, Purple UFO. It's a medium heat pepper and can be grown as an ornamental plant. If you have a space to start your pepper indoors, I highly recommend seed starting early for double the harvest. Now let's go make something with these peppers.
To learn more about gardening and be inspired to grow your own food, subscribe to Planted in the Garden and follow our journey.